Hello and welcome to another Roller Coaster Tycoon playthrough video. Today we are doing the last of the challenging parks, which is Big Pier, where the objective is to have 600 guests crammed into this tiny little space by the end of year two. I think that'll be really easy. Let me quickly open this so these people don't get turned away. Come on in, my friends. And right now it's free because I don't have any rides. I'll have to change that. Let's see what we have to work with. Aha! The merry-go-round, the staple of any roller coaster tycoon park. Let's, uh, how are we going to space this out? Let's place it here. So it's level with the path. Put the entrance here and the exit there. Wonderful. Ba, 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 da, da. You gotta love the merry-go-round music. Let's get this queue line in place. Wonderful. So this, I'm not sure what the soft guest cap, uh, guest attractant measure is for this. I'm making up words here. I'm not sure how many people this attracts to the park. Maybe it's 35? Someone correct me in the comments. I couldn't be bothered to look it up. <laughs> I have no idea. We also have a Ferris wheel. This looks like something that belongs on the skyline of the park. So let's put it right here. Boop, boop. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have put it there. Let's put it, uh, huh. Put it here. Entrance there, exit there. Open this as well. And why did I open it without a key line? What am I doing? Here we go. And now it's raining. Do we have an info kiosk? Oh no, we don't have it yet. Well, that's not good. Let's turn this up to maximum so we unlock more stuff more quickly. Oh, I like how this is turning clockwise and this is turning counterclockwise. It looks like two gears, two cogs grinding together. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, we have rowboats. I don't think we should bother with rowboats. What, well, what else do we have? We have the twist ride. Let's place that in here. Like so. Put the entrance right there. And the exit right there. So as we see, we are very, very pressed for real estate here. I really don't have much uh, room to work with. So I probably could have placed these more compactly, but I still want the park to look nice, you know? And that's all the flat rides we have, great. Uh, let's, uh, let's save this for one more flat ride. Let's place some shops and stalls before I forget, because I always forget. Put a drink stall by the merry-go-round. Move this price up to 160. And what are these, fries? Let's place a fry shop right here next to it. And change the price of these fries to two dollars. Wonderful. Now I think we could charge money at the gate if we, uh, let's see. Is that too expensive for you guys? We have three rides so far, so let me turn these off so people aren't, uh... I know that the amount you can charge at the gate is affected by how many rides you charge for, or by the fact that you charge for rides at all. Here we go, let's make those free. All right, I'm gonna leave this at 20 because we don't have a lot of rides to really justify a higher price than that. And we are so pressed for space that I can't really see myself bigging anything bigger than a mini roller coaster. But I wanna start with a wooden wild mouse because these are beautiful and I love the wooden support structures they have. So let's place that over here. See that's six cars. Let's just go the whole nine yards. And it's too tall. Okay. Yeah, because there's the uh, the height we can go is affected by the depth of the water too. Not from the surface of the water, but from the surface of the uh, of the space underneath the water. Woohoo! Okay, I couldn't have done that. Here, here we go. Filling in this space really nicely. Let's go down to the water again. Well, can we go all the way down to the water? Let's not go down to the water because that's not really realistic. This looks like it's supposed to be like a, a beach, like the ocean. And I've been to a, uh, a I've been to a, a little mini mini park in Texas called The Pier, which is basically a lot like this. And uh, 
it, you know, it had to be built high enough up from the water that the tide wouldn't uh, damage the rides, you know? So, let me keep this somewhat realistic. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough speed to come back up to 20 feet, but we're going to find out. And it seems I have designed this poorly. <laughs> okay, let's go down here to 10 feet, up again, down to 10 feet. Here we go. Straight away and career not... Oh, no. That's not good. How are we going to pull this off? Oh, no! Fatal design flaw. How could I do this? <laughs> this isn't going to work at all. Hold on, I have to redesign the whole freaking structure. Because this first drop goes to 20 feet. That's not going to work. We need to be able to connect to the station, which is 15 feet. Huh. Well, that's annoying. What I could do is make this more gradual to 30 feet. Now, that's a big drop. That's 25 feet. Is that going to be too much? Oh, I think that's okay. It's a bit much, but I think we're going to survive that. Okay. I like seeing a frantic motion of the car. That indicates it's uh, gonna be exciting. Let's go up again. Steep drop, flatten out. Back to 20. Turn around. And I hope that we're gonna have enough momentum for this, but I don't know if we are. There we go. Let's place a uh, exit there and oh, yeah, I almost said open, not open, test. Turn this lift hill speed up and turn the minimum wait time down. There we go. Maybe that, no, 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 the three seconds. Wonderful, are people still turning away? What about you? Okay, so he's going home. He did come into the park, that's good. This guy's going home, where are you going? You gotta stay, he's unhappy. <laughs> He spent $20 and he didn't ride anything. Oh, there's nothing in the park intense enough for him. I'm sorry, dude. But this roller coaster will be open soon enough. If you just waited, you would have been able to enjoy the finest wooden wild mouse in the country. What are the test results here? Let me see. Oh, look at that. Not too shabby. Well, now there's an option for the thrill seekers of the, uh, of the game. So come on down and be thrilled by the wildest mice in the country. Woohoo! Look at it go. All right. Did I change the price? I'll go. Uh, let me turn the price down. There we go. Now I think we'll be able to get away with charging $20. Perfect. Whoops. Um, do I have enough money for another? I do. Let's build another uh, roller coaster. This one will be less compact than this one. Or, yeah, less compact because it doesn't have access to the, uh, the steep transition pieces. So, uh... Let's place it here. It does have access to tight turns, which is fortunate for us. Uh, as we can see. There we go. Max number of cars. That's what I like to see. So the lift hill will be double the length. You know, I don't see a reason why we can't go over the path here. It's not going to hurt anything. And that appears to be the tallest we can go. Actually, we don't need to go that tall. What am I doing? <laughs> let's just go to let's just go to 50. That doesn't have to be too big. We don't have room to make this that big. I feel like there's no point of building something really tall if it's not going to have the duration long enough to justify all that uh, potential energy you stored up by going up that tall. If it's a small roller coaster, you don't need to build it so tall. So let's do this. We went from 50 to 30. Okay, I was worried the G-forces might be a little much there, but it looks like we're okay. Wonderful. That spaced out just perfectly. Let's do the opposite of that by dipping for this part. And finish it off with a nice little drop to 10 feet. From 30 to 20, that's good. And now we should return to the station. With a few hills, of course. What kind of good roller coaster doesn't have some hills? Actually, 
Oh, dang it. I can't do that. Can I go wide here? Oh, look at that. I can. Or I can't. Darn it. <laughs> That's not an option. Let's do this. Back down to 10. Up to... That's not going to work. Let's stay at 10. Go up to 15. Wonderful. Here we go. Perfect. Now we have a glorious wild mouse, a spinning wild mouse, to accompany our wooden wild mouse. And look, people are coming into the park. So this, this wooden wild mouse should attract maybe, I don't know, 70 guests? I'm not sure what the soft guest cap uh, attractant... I need a better phrase for that. I don't know what the correct term for that is. I'm not sure how many guests the wooden wild mouse attracts. It's probably somewhere around 60 to 70-ish. I know flat rides attract about 30 to 45, depending on uh, the intensity of the ride and the excitement of the ride. I'm not sure. Well, it's not determined by that. Those aren't the factors. It's determined by the ride itself. It's just a, a preset uh, number. I'm going to start yammering because I'm not making any sense. Well, I'm going to keep yammering. i got to narrate this video. But I'm going to stop and yammering about that because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Have we unlocked anything recently? Oh, a log flume. Nice. And we do not have room for a log flume, do we? We might be able to cram one in here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have room for much else. Hopefully we get some two tile flat rides that we can fit in here, like motion simulators. Or mazes, that would be cool. But it's good to see the parks coming together nicely. Spinning Wild Mouse is doing great. None of these hairpins look like they're too fast to uh, be too much cause for concern. Even that one towards the end seems to be all right. Let's see what the stats are as uh, car number one ar uh, arrives at the station. There we go, beautiful. I like that. Let's change this to free. Free cost for that. And uh, pin that cost down at the entrance. Will you pay 30? Yes, people will pay 30. Wonderful. Now, do we have any more flat rides? What are we working on? A spiral slide. Oh, yes, that is two tiles wide. That means we'll be able to cram a bunch of spiral slides in this space. That's perfect. We get it in the first of May, so just a couple days. In the meantime, I'd like to build myself a log flume. And I've never played this scenario before, so this might be a trap because these take a lot of space. Maybe the allure is to build a lot of roller coasters. Actually, I just had an idea. This log flume can just go under everything, because most of these rides are built up high enough that they're level with the pathway. I could build this so it goes under everything. <laughs> it could be at, uh, at the water level. Let's do that. I want to save space. I'm such a genius. I'm just kidding. Maybe not. Maybe I am. And unlike the vanilla game, with this, I can make the station two tiles long, which is a fantastic way to save space. And the base game, for people who don't know, people who, are, who grew up with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, or diehard fans of Open RCT 2, the difference here is that in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, the number of boats you get was determined by the length of the station. So it's only two tiles long, and I get three boats. And that's because this is long enough. See what happens when I make this longer. I can turn this way up. See that? So clearly that's a slight advantage I get for playing uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 through Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, Open RCT2. So I'm not really I'm not really beating it at the same difficulty that someone would beat it if they played it in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 obviously. And that's okay. Um, it doesn't have to be super difficult necessarily. Okay, I just realized I've trapped myself. Uh, I was hoping to put a flat right here, but now I'm stuck. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Where am I? Here we are. Let's turn the other way. Come out here. So if I, if I come up right here, now I can't put a spiral slide in there. So maybe I don't do that? Oh, perfect. I can go out uh, over here. I don't think that the log flume needs to have a big drop necessarily. I don't know if there's a minimum drop height requirement. So for now, we're just coasting along. 
Just enjoying the ride. <laughs> Let's see, where do I come out here? This is so long. We need to have an actual drop here, so this will actually have... I don't know if there's a, a stat requirement for this. I'm broke. Gosh dang it. Let's take out some money. Down to 15 feet. Photo section, because all your fa faces are going to be wet from the splash. There we go. Perfect. What a work of art. And now I took up this whole space. I don't know if I can fit anything else in there. <laughs> I have to get 600 guests into this park. I don't know if the way you're supposed to beat this scenario is by building on top of yourself. If it comes to that, I'll have to do it, but I may have to delete some of this stuff to make room for that. If for now, let's test this bad boy out. How many boats do we get? Let's max this out. 27 boats. Turn this down to 4 seconds and test it. We'll build our, our queue line. Someone commented in my last video that in the vanilla game, the only path option available is blue, the only queue line option, until the expansions, which introduced more colors. So to stay true to that, because this is one of the original vanilla scenarios, not an expansion scenario, I'm going to keep all of my all of my uh, queue lines blue to stay true to the spirit of the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. Not that it really matters, I'm just, uh, for fun. Just a limitation I'm imposing on myself for no reason. <laughs> Let's see, so we can fit the spiral slide here, wonderful! I don't believe in queue lines for these, because the throughput, or people aren't really interested in them anyway. I just realized I don't have any staff. Do I have any breakdowns? Oh good, no breakdowns yet. Let's hire a handful of those guys, a couple of mechanics, perfect. And I think we can charge a little more for this. Let's try $40. Maybe. Two roller coasters and floor flat, uh, flat rides. I hope I can get away with that. But if I can't, I will be once I build this. Boom. Another spiral slide. I wonder if we can build two more? No, I think I only have room for one more. That's a shame. Because I need space for the, yeah, for the entrance and the exit. So let's do this. There we go. Perfect. All right, we'll open this. It's almost the same color as this one. I want to change it. Um, let's make this blue. Make this white. And I'll make this one, I don't know, green. Green and red. Oh, that's kind of fun. How about green and purple? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, this one is still testing. All the boats are gone. It looks like there's gonna be a long, empty space. So I'm gonna turn this minimum wait time up to five seconds. Whoops, didn't mean to click that. What are we researching now? The looping roller coaster? I don't have room for that. I took all the space already. <laughs> we'll have to find some way to expand. I did some poking around before I started recording, as I often do, and there's no land available to purchase. This is it. This is the space we have to work in for the entire duration of this scenario. Which means you're stuck listening to this merry-go-round for the whole session. Ha 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 ha, take that. Actually, let's make, let's be different. Let's turn this off and turn something cool on. Like summer style. I can't actually hear it. Oh, it's because it's super quiet. <laughs> I wonder if I can turn the volume up for that. Provide music. Turn that up to the max, there we go. Now we get the pretty little summer style. I might change that, actually. It's not really my favorite. It just sounds nice. Oh, this is done. Um, oh, look at that. Three minutes and 24 seconds. So this isn't as long as the log flume I built in the previous scenario, apparently, because I think the one in the previous scenario was five minutes long. <laughs> it was so long. But we're... It looks good. I didn't forget my photo section, which is good. So let's turn this up to the customary 350, because we need to squeeze every bit of money out of our guests that we can. Did I put the eggs on here? Oh, good. So let's open this, make sure the cost per ride is free, because as someone informed me in the first few Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios when I just started the series out, because I had no idea what I was doing, it was my first time playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, uh, as someone informed me, if you, charge, uh, if you charge for rides, people won't be willing to pay as much at the gate, and vice versa. If you pay at the gate, they won't be willing to pay as much per ride. So it's better to kind of just choose one or the other, is my understanding. I could be wrong, there might be an optimal way, but to me it's not worth all the micromanaging, so I'm going to just charge at the gate 
and not bother with the ride ride ticket fees. I need to look at the uh, the least amount of cash these people show up with to see how much I can get away with charging. So far, I see a common number of 55. Is there anyone with less than 55? Okay, he's got 85. What about you? 65. 75. 65. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that 55 is the most that I can get away with charging for the gate. That's not too shabby. That's actually more than a lot of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 scenarios, because they the guests in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 frequently show up with like $40 or $45 depending on the scenario. So I think $55 will be the optimal price, and now we don't have to think about it ever again, which is a beautiful thing. What are we researching now? Unknown! Okay, we have to wait. In the meantime, I wonder if we can build a wooden roller coaster on top of things. Not a wooden roller coaster, what am I saying? <laughs> a looping roller coaster, what am I talking about? But before I get carried away and build that, let me see if it's even possible. Am I going up? And do that again. Oops, not there. Yes, it's possible. Wonderful! That's a beautiful thing. Okay. So here we will, we'll save that. We'll put the, the entrance and exit there. Let's build a looper. A launched looper because we got to stay compact. I'm more interested in the soft guest cap contributor contributing factor of this ride. Is this right next to the? Uh... Yes, it is. Okay, I have to build this over this tile. Here we go. How long of a train is that? Okay, that's longer than it needs to be. There we go. Maximum length. Get the most riders on this thing as possible. Left. Right. Look how unnecessarily big I made this. <laughs> Although, it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad actually. It doesn't really look like it's imposing itself on the rest of the structures in the park. It might if I do this in more a few more times, but for now it looks okay. So let's go powered launch without passing the station, so we don't fly out the back and kill somebody. Let's try a launch speed of 47 miles per hour. I forgot to place my entrance and exit on here, so let's do that right now. Entrance there, exit there. You can now see why I did this the way I did. Boop! Uh, boop, I mean. I'm always used to this dialogue box popping up over here, so I'm always surprised when it's over here, because <laughs> I already have one open over here. All oh, right. I probably should have been doing this, actually, to see if this will stall at the top of this or not. Up it goes. Barely through that loop. I might want to actually speed this up just a tad. But let's see how this does. Okay, let's try 49 miles per hour. Let's test it for real. Woo! There she blows! A little bit faster through the loops, that's what I like to see. A comfortable amount of space at the end of this track, so it will be, it will have a little more momentum once it's loaded up with guests. So we have that little extra length there as a buffer, so it doesn't uh, fly off the end and crash and burn. Let's turn this down before I forget, and I forgot to put a photo section on this. That's not good! So let's uh, close it real quick. Close. And how tall is this? That's at 110. Let's actually put it here. Let's put it between the loops. Photo section, then loop right. 110, perfect. All right, now test it. Now these colors won't do. We have a red train with a muted red track. Who thought of this? Let's make this a green track. I usually avoid green because it blends in with the ground a lot, but now that we have a blue background, I kind of like this. Now we have green and red. Those are kind of Christmas colors. I wonder if we could go green and purple. Purple and yellow, that's kind of cool. I think I like that, okay. Test results, not too shabby, especially for such a short roller coaster. That's great. That's wonderful, all right. So we're more than halfway to our objective. I took out this big loan, so let's turn that off and uh, advertise. Let's advertise the park as a whole and advertise our new roller coaster. Boop! 
wonderful. What are we researching? Let me check. Dinghy slide? No! Stop researching roller coasters. I can't believe I'm doing this. I would never check this off. I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. I would never do that normally. Same with transport rides. We don't need those. We need... We need shops and stalls, thrill rides, and gentle rides, because those are the small things that we can fill the rest of the space up with. <laughs> I already have options for additional roller coasters. I could build this one if I wanted to be more cluttered and build on top of myself. Anyway, I guess we'll unlock the dinghy slide. We might find a use for it. It, it looks nice. It's a cool ride. It's cool theming-wise, not cool stat-wise and performance-wise, because it has terrible throughput and has a propensity to crash. So I don't like it. But it might be necessary. It might be useful. I wonder what we should do for scenery. Oh, there's the dingus slide. Do we have fountains? Oh, perfect. We have fountains. Yes. Let's put some fountains in a few strategic places. Like right here. Maybe here, here, and here. Yeah, this is cool. Put one there. Can I fit one in here? Maybe? Possibly? Nope. What a shame. Where else can I cram a few of these? The safest park in the country. That's wonderful! Now, normally I would avoid building flowers up above the ground because of the goofy support structure, but for here, I'll make an exception. I just built those in the wrong spot. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be... between the... No! There we go. Right there. No, 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 not, not there. No! Where do I do this? Oh, here we go. Put some flowers in there. That looks weird. We're just going to pretend that there's ground under it. What does it look like if I... Wait, I can build outside of the park? Hold on. I have room to... Have I been doing this the hard way this whole time? Am I allowed to build... Nice! I have more room than I thought I did. Look at that. So we have we have a building rights to build over the water up to a certain length. That is really good. So we're actually not as cramped as I thought we were. So I was uh, operating off an incorrect assumption this whole time. And that's how you know that I'm not like cheating or something or doing this again. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Let's put some more flowers back here. Uh, surround this. Here we go. Perhaps what I could do is I could put a platform there and put the fountains on top of that. But for now, I'm just going to do this. Get some planters. Not planters, some flower beds. Now, what I want to know is if I'm able to take fences and place them in the air. Oh, look at that. I can. Cool. But I'm not going to bother with the fences. That's kind of That's going to be a headache and a half trying to get these in the correct position. No! <laughs> As you can see, it's not working. Oh, there we go. So I could try to do that, but that would be a royal pain. And the, uh, the, the rails of the pathway already look sufficient to me, so I'm gonna leave that the way it is. What are we researching now? Let me see. Ooh, a shop or a stall. Nice. So seeing as we have access to the outer portion of the park, I think we are in serious need of another roller coaster. And look at all this income we're making. Nice. We went up from like just under 2,000 to just over 7,000 in one month. And then 8,000. And now we're not even halfway through July and we have 6,000 in revenue so far. So we're doing very good. Let me check the campaigns. We have one week remaining on both of them. That's good. Okay, how far out can I do this? Okay, we have four tiles of space. So if I want to turn, that means I have to use these tight ones. Unless I build over, unless I start building over the path. And that's all right. So let me actually build this out a ways. So we have room to have our, you know, our queue line and such. Let's see if I can get two trains on this. Nice, two trains. Or I wonder if we could have more than two trains. This is two trains still. If I turn this down to nine. Ha ho, three trains. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I was going to reserve this spot for a flat ride. We still can, as long as I don't build this too low. So we're at 40. I think the pathway is at 15. Okay, the ad campaign's just wrapped up, so let's restart those. Let's advertise the log flume this time. 
Log flume. As I said, I don't know if it makes a difference while I advertise. I just do it for the sake of variety. I don't know if the excitement rating or the stats of whatever you're advertising affects how effective the ad campaign is. I've always just assumed it does just to play it safe. But I could be totally wrong and it might have no difference at all. So you can see we're taking up all the space. I can't go any wider than that. Can I go slightly wider? Yeah, so we're right on the edge of where we can build without infringing on our space. And I think we should make full use of this space instead of doing what I'm doing. So let me actually go down like so. And this ride has helixes. Glory hallelujah, I'm glad it does. Straighten out. Uh-oh. Land not owned by this part. What land is it owned? Oh, okay. So this area around the entrance we actually don't own. That's weird. That's really weird. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll have to do this then. Now the path is in the way. <laughs> yeah, so this wasn't going to work. I have to make this wider, I think. Or not, because now the path's in the way. Gosh dang it. How am I going to do this? So from 45 to... 45 again. Well, we started at 60. You know, I should probably be testing this in the background, just to make sure this even works. I'm not sure why I'm not doing that. There we go, here's a fun little design trick. Okay, so we can sneak through like that. Unfortunately, this ride doesn't have access to photo sections, so we're just gonna slink through here ever so slightly. Oh, info kiosk, yes, let's build those. A few of those, just in the, maybe the four corners of our park. Before we open that, Change the umbrella price to 20, change the map, pr uh, map price oops, to 120, same price through a park, and open that. Okay, now let's have another one of the opposite corner. There we go. And change these umbrellas to make them blue. We don't have room for one here, so maybe we'll have a third one over here. Never mind, there's no room. Okay, two is probably fine. We have a very small park anyway. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Back to designing this glorious masterpiece. Not really, it's kind of janky. And I can't do this. What's in the way? I don't know why. There's a bug where this little pop-up disappears the moment it pops up. So I can't actually read it. So if I want to read it, I have to rapidly click it. <laughs> Maybe if I... Yeah, this isn't going to work. Okay, let's just glide over the pathway like this. That's fine. We're using our space wisely, I think. Uh, let's not do that. Now we're over the station, so this will probably add an element of excitement to the ride. Now what we need to do is find a way to reconnect with, you know, with the bet with the station itself so let's uh do this go down to 15 and i don't think we're gonna have any crashes you know actually we could so let's uh flatten out put some brakes here set this to 13 miles per hour and i don't have room for that okay i do have room for this though perfect and all this dead space, we'll call that buffer space, so we're not gonna have any nasty collisions. Wonderful! Let's fire this thing up and see how she does, after, of course, turning this up. All right, while that tests, let's keep it in frame so you can watch it if you want to. I'm gonna work on building this uh, queue line. We're gonna make it very long on purpose because this park is so tiny 
and we have to get 600 guests crammed into it, so I don't want to make it too crowded because that'll affect our park rating. Our ad campaign's just wrapped up, that's good. Let's uh, restart those. Advertise the wooden wild mouse. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. So this looks good. Just gently moseying through the track layout. It's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's like a junior roller coaster. Okay, let's get those results. You know, what am I doing? These could be... These could be additional station pieces so we can make the trains longer. There we go. Ten cars per train. I don't know why I didn't do that from the start. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, that might affect the uh, ratings, too, because it'll it'll progress through the track more quickly because there's uh, more, more weight, more stored energy. What are we researching? Ooh, a gentle ride. Perfect. Anyway, so now we have uh, one, two, three, four roller coasters plus a log flume. Granted, we haven't opened this one yet. But we have four roller coasters and a log flume crammed into this tiny pier. We're doing good. We already have... It looks like we beat the objective. Oh, yeah. Maybe I was over... Maybe I was uh, overemphasizing how much... How many guests that is. Maybe I overestimated how crowded it would be. It's really not that crowded. So we meet the objective. We're not even done with year one yet. <laughs> this is an easy scenario. Why is this under the challenging scenarios? I guess building over the water and holding shift and drag is kind of tricky. I, I could never figure that out as a kid, so I would have been stumped. I would have been forever stumped in this scenario because it took... I didn't understand that you could drag to, uh, with scenery. You could hold shift and then drag. I didn't know you could do this for like the first few years that I played this game. I didn't figure that out until I was older. Uh, but I granted I was playing this and I was like, you know, nine or ten years old. I don't know, slow learner. Let's open this. Get more people into the park. We have a lot of money. My goodness, let's turn our loan off. Because I don't like paying loan interest. And I don't see any harm in duplicating some of her rides, so it looks like... Do I have room for this down here? Oh, look at that. We could place one down at the water level. <laughs> place a little flat ride at the water level so it gets periodically flooded. Just so we can elevate the soft guest cap. Beautiful. Open that as well. Turn this off. Did I ever turn the price off for this one? Let me check. No, I didn't. So people, these people are going to pay for it. Will these people still pay at the entrance? Oh, look at that! Maybe I should leave that on. Maybe that is optimal. But if I leave it on too long, it might cause people to start turning away over here, which is what really matters. So I'm going to, just out of curiosity, I'm going to see what that does. That's interesting. Yeah, this is looking really good so far. Let's see what gentle ride we're getting. Um, oh, an observation tower. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. In the meantime, let's build more food options. We don't have any bathrooms because I completely forgot about bathrooms. Oh, Z rotates. I didn't realize that was a hockey for that. Let's open this bathroom. Change to 30 cents. Ha ha. Let's place another one over here. And can I fit another one over here, I wonder? Well, I should probably have one in the, towards the middle of the park, because all these ones are on the outside. So maybe... Maybe here? Nope, Wild Mouse is in the way. Oh, there we go. That works. So three bathrooms. That might be overkill for such a tiny park, but, you know. Make it accessible for everybody. When do we get this? Oh, we already got it. I wasn't paying attention. Perfect. Let's build it in the space that we have left here. We're at 15. Let's go to 215 because I always like to make these 200 feet tall. No particular reason why. That's just the easy, memorable number I always go with. Actually, I could possibly fit another flat ride in here if I do this more, a little more compactly. So let's, let's ram this right up against the merry-go-round. There we go. Go up to 2.15. The exit right there. Entrance right here. Perfect. Let's test it while we build our path. 
Oh, and now that it's raining, our umbrellas will start making sales. If people can afford them, that is. <laughs> if they spend all their money to get into the park, they're gonna, they're gonna be stuck walking around in the rain. All right, let's open this. Turn this off, as always. Look at all the people coming in. It's a beautiful thing. And now we have room for additional flat rides in this little spot. And room for additional roller coasters around the perimeter of the park, or additional flat rides, come to think of it. It's probably easier to build flat rides around the perimeter just because of the space oh, afforded to us by our building rights. Listen to that thunder. We have built at least one of each of these. Yeah, just one of each of these. We have all of the flat rides except for the car ride. So I say, let's build a car ride out here over the water. And let's butt it up right against the, uh... Nah, I don't want to compete for space that much. Let's build it close to this. Let's go. Let's see. Height marks on tracks. 15 feet. Okay, so that's the edge. Okay, perfect. And just like the log flume, the number of vehicles allowed by this is not the length of the station, but the length of the track. Which again, is uh, not part of the vanilla game. This is something unique to open RCT2. I suspect it's also part of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Let's go under ourselves like this. Here we go. Do I have room to do this? I do not. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. Oh, wait. No, I do. Perfect. <laughs> I love how compact these are. And still not going to work. Gosh dang it. I should have thought this through. Or I could just go up here. Well, I need to keep this low so I have more room to go over the track and reconnect with that. Too high for supports. That's a serious problem I did not foresee. Okay, fine. So I guess what we could do is just come around here. And maybe this is just where we reconnect. I did not think this through at all. What was I thinking? Okay, let's, re let's uh, rethink all this. Straight. It seems that 20 feet is the tallest we can go with this. So I can't really turn around there, because there's no way for me to come back if I do. Or, perhaps, if I go like this... Not like that. Now we go under this. Ha-ho! Look at that! Now we can come around. And right on brand, I didn't think this through, did I? Oops, wrong piece. There we go. Now let's return to... Let's actually go up to 20 feet, just for fun. Back to 15 feet. Wonderful! Track design complete. Let's change this to... Race cars. Actually, let's go pickup trucks. Not pickup trucks, uh, sports cars, because these have uh, two capacity per vehicle. And if this attracts enough guests, it will seriously decongest the paths. I mean, look at this. This one is completely full. Okay, let's uh, turn this off. How many cars do we get? Okay, that's the max. Let's turn this down to three to four seconds and test. And while that's testing, we'll build our entrance. Come back. Here we go. And I think we're in a need, we're in need of a music change. Let's see what the options are. Blizzard style. Uh, was there, th was there this many styles before? 
I think there are additional styles that were added, but I don't know if any of these are copyrighted and if I'm allowed to play them without getting in trouble. So, let's just stick with the vanilla ones. Let's go... Uh, huh. Organ style is a fun one. Isn't that pretty? Okay. We are making bank. It looks like we need to restart these. Oh, we got bumper cars! Woo! We can turn these all the way up since we have the cash to do it. Let's go, let's advertise the looping roller coaster for 12 weeks. Boom. Man, we are stomping this scenario so hard. We're not, we're, we're in September. We have a month left and we've already beat our objective. A month left of the first year, I mean. We still have 13 months left. That's months to beat this. Okay, we have room for this just barely out here. I don't have room inside of the pier, so I'll put this out here. Looks like we have to build it. Right there. Like this. Here we go. Now this music is going to really conflict with the organ, so let's turn it off. <laughs> I don't like that. What else do we get? What are we researching? We have bumper cars. Okay. Um, so we duplicated the uh, twist, which is hiding under the log flume. Let's make some more spiral slides and fill in this space over here, if we can get away with it. Just barely get away with it. Entrance and exit open, turn the price off, just to elevate the soft guest cap as high as possible. I'll have to paint these in a minute, because I'm not digging these colors at all. I know that we already had these colors. Well, actually, we don't have either of these. These colors were these two, but because they were the same color, almost, I changed them, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Place this here. Nice! Make that free. Make all of them free. Woo! Now let's think of these colors. This one is unique. I guess they're technically unique. Um, let's grab this one. It has this creamy off-white. I kind of like the creamy off-white. So maybe we'll take this one. Leave this one alone. Any Boise State fans? Ha <laughs> ha! Fun. Okay. So now all of our spiral slides are unique. Look at all the people coming to our park. This guy's going home sick. <laughs> I love the... Look at the animation of his face. It cracks me up. It's so funny. We need benches, I just realized. That might be why he wasn't able to fix that. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 did not introduce the, uh, the first aid room, as far as I'm aware. So we need benches. Which it seems like we don't really have. And garbage cans. I see litter. Place these everywhere. The nice thing about this park is it's so small, so we don't really have to place a whole lot of these. Just a, a few here, a few there, you know. And that's it. That's it for the benches. We're done. Let's play some garbage cans to fix this litter problem. Oops, I messed up my benches. Oh well, that's fine. We already have benches right next to it. People are really liking this log flume, it seems. And look at that queue line. Completely full. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. So now that's all sorted out. We've had an infrastructure improvement. Let's see how these guys are holding up. We have two of them. They're supposed to inspect everything on 10 minute intervals because that's the default inspection interval I set. But they're still managing to uh, stay on top of things. 
these four guys seem to be doing an okay job. I mean, I did see litter, but that was partly my fault because I didn't have any trash cans and vomit because there's no benches for people to sit down and calm their stomachs with. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Ooh, a pirate ship! That is right on brand for this uh, oceanic park. But in the meantime, let's build one of these, as much as I don't like them, because they suck, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> but uh, they objectively suck. And this ride does have to be obscenely long to get the boats you want. Realistically, they'd probably fly off the track here, so I'm going to replace these like that. Maybe we'll put some brakes here. And never mind, I don't get brakes. No brakes for me. And I think... Yep, that's the edge of the park. So I can do this. And here's the sketchy part. Is if I want to come up like this, I have to... Uh, I have to do that, which is hilarious, because realistically, if that was a thing, if that was in real life, you would smack your face into the into the roof of the tube. That would hurt so bad. Do I have room to do that? I do not. Okay, great. Uh, I have to find a way to work this work this over back to the to, to connect with this somehow. We went from fifty-five. I don't think we're going to make it to 35, are we? Just barely. Okay. What's in the way now? It seems to be the wooden roller coaster. Not surprising. Not the wooden roller coaster. Why do I keep calling this a wooden roller coaster? The looping roller coaster. Oh, gosh dang it. Can I dodge it? Oh, look at that. I can dodge it. Now we're back to 60, which is where this is, so we could drop again. So from 65 to 50, I don't think we're going to pull that off, are we? Let's just see. Will it make it through? I don't think so. You know, this would be easier if these weren't uh, tubes. Let's just do this. Okay, let's see where they are. Let's bring them over. Uh-oh. We have a breakdown. Good thing we have mechanics on top of things. Okay, here's this one. Let's see how it does. As I feared, it stalled. That's not good. Okay, what if I have chains? Will it catch it here, if I put chains there? Let's bring them back and test it out. We are in March of year two, so this is a short scenario. Yeah, that's not going to work. Gosh dang it. Okay, that means we have to make this longer and waste space. I really didn't want to do that. So this is at 60 feet. I don't think I'm lined up though. What is this line? What tile is this? Okay, we're on this grid line, so to do this, we have to break this back even more. No, break two of those. Here we go. And now turn the chains off. I think we need to break this. And put the put the drop sooner. Uh oh, something's in the way. So now we have a double drop. That's exciting. 
Now let's see if the slide is going to fly off of this bounce in the middle. In real life, it probably would, but we'll find out. Let's fast forward this. I think we can actually change the lift hill speed in this. Let's do that. Okay, bring it up. Fast forward. There we go, up that lift hill. Now we have like three lift hills in this. Four if you count this as two. Wait, did it just reset? I think it just reset. Yeah, we would have had a crash there. That's not good. That's not good. Let's see what it does. If it disappears, that means it, sim it simulates it crashing. Yep, that's a crash. Okay, we have to change that. Um, shoot. Well, that means, uh... What we could do is instead of... Ha we could have a mini drop right here. Just to fill the space up. Here we go. Perfect. All right. No more crashes. Let's test this. I forgot my entrance, as always. <laughs> How on brand. Ooh, a haunted house. Not that we have a whole lot of room for more rides, but that's cool. Let's test this. You know, I think we could easily double the objective. We already have just shy of a thousand. We're in the beginning of year two, so let's target. Let's try to double the objective again, because that would be sweet. All right, where is boat number one? Woohoo! And there. Barely make it up that little hill. Perfect. There's a looping roller coaster working on its magic. We're so rich. Look at this income. Not bad for such a tiny footprint of a park to work in. If I do say so myself. A mini drop, another lift hill. <laughs> Woo! Down it goes. And into the station. Okay, let's release the camera, get our stats. Not too shabby. And I think I need to turn this down just a tad. Okay, not too shabby. We don't get photo sections, which is a shame. Let's open this. That's uh, more guests attracted to the park. Now let's build the haunted house you just unlocked. We snag it and build it. We could probably build flat rides over here, actually. Yeah, we could build it. Well, I don't want to put that one there, but... Yes. So let's put a haunted house right here. Entrance and exit. And this will be popular when it rains because it's an indoor ride. And I just realized I forgot to turn the price off on this dinghy slide. So let's turn that off. I think I'm still charging money for this one. I never stopped charging. Yeah, look at that. People are actually paying to ride it. Huh. So maybe that's the reason, is you can't charge more than $55 at the gate because some people don't carry more than that. But then you charge for rides so you get the rest of it. But then that wouldn't make sense because then those people who paid everything at the gate can't afford to ride anything. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if that'll affect the park rating if they come in and can't ride anything and they'll go home unhappy. Uh, anyway, let's open this while well, I'm thinking about it. Turn this off. The price, I mean. And what else have we unlocked while I wasn't paying attention? Oh, we're getting another shop. That's cool. We have the haunted house and the pirate ship. I wasn't paying attention. Let's build the pirate ship. Woo! My favorite flat ride. Favorite IRL, I mean. Yeah, so these tiles around the station are off-limits. And the pirate ship is too long. Oh my goodness, what a mess! I think we need more handymen. Okay, one spawned right where we needed them. Perfect. Okay, turn all these off. Maybe I did need more handymen. Uh, where are you going, buddy? I need to clean this up, too. Alright, down for this pirate ship. Oops, what am I doing? Not at the water level. Maybe close to the water level. That's kind of cool, actually.
or not. Oops. I didn't just drown someone, did I? Yeah, I totally just drowned someone. <laughs> no! That was an accident, I'm sorry. <laughs> I drowned two people. Oh well. No, I drowned three people? No, I probably drowned like a ton of people actually. Gosh dang it. It was an accident, I swear. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it was just three people. What is what in the world? What's wrong with me? Let's make this open. This guy just turned away. Uh, no, no, come back. Mr. Green shirt. No, I can't. Uh, I lost him. I think it's this guy. He just bought a park map. Anyway, what else do we have that I have not been paying attention to? Nice pipes. So that just finished. Let's uh, pick something else prehistoric style. I think that's one of the new ones. Let's go Jurassic style. Or not, that doesn't really fit. Candy style is annoying, so I'm not gonna do candy style. Don't, sorry, sorry, don't roast me in the comments. It's just my opinion. That's subjective. That's, that's me. I don't like it very much. Maybe you like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't kill me in the comments. Um, yeah, there's a groove. Yeah. That's fun. It'd probably get annoying pretty fast, though. What else could we play, potentially? Spice style is cool, but you need headphones to really hear it. It's so quiet. It's a shame that it's so quiet, because you really can't hear it over anything else. And it died. <laughs> Dang it! What a shame. Pirate style, that's cool. What else can we do? How about we just turn this off, and we do pirate style from the pirate ship? With a drunken sailor, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in bed with the captain's daughter early in the morning. That's such a goofy song. Let's place ice cream right here. Get your ice cream. The season's only gonna get warmer, folks. Although it's actually about to rain. Let's make this a buck twenty for ice cream. This is. Did I never open this? What the heck? I never opened this. <laughs> no, I forgot to open it. What are the stats on this, by the way? Yay! We we didn't have any stat penalties. That's good. Okay, I just saw a notification for balloons, which is great. We can do our customary balloon release. Let's uh, set this to a buck twenty. Actually, I think we can get away with a buck forty. I can't remember. How much can we charge for balloons? If it was towards the end of the scenario, I would charge something. Yep, one forty. Okay, let's get every bit of profit we can. Towards the end of the scenario, maybe in the last few months, I'll turn the price down to zero so I can really capitalize, not capitalize, get as many balloons sold as possible. There we go. Sell as many balloons as possible for our celebratory winning balloon release thing. Did I set that to... Okay, same price throughout park. This is such a small park, these are all gonna be really close to each other. Uh, come up, there we go. Make these ones yellow, so that's all the primary colors done. Now we need the secondary colors plus pink. And as I always say, pink is technically just a shade of red. Okay, make these green. Next up, orange. And then purple. Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. This is the only verse I remember because it is kind of funny. <laughs> there we go. One from the uh, the inside portion of the park. Let's, let's see if we can fit one over here, possibly. I don't think we can. I don't know if we have room for any more. Unless we build them, like, right next to each other. Looks like the merry-go-round died. That's a shame. Yeah, no room there. No room there. Oh, I have room over here. That's good. Uh, not quite there. There we go. Make this purple. The last of the secondary the secondary colors. Now we need a pink one, and we'll be done. If I can find a place to put the pink one. 
I could just put it over here, honestly. That's in the way. There we go. Make this pink. Wonderful! Now we have all the colors we need. It looks like our ad campaign's just wrapped up, so let's restart those. We'll advertise our newest attraction, which is the ridiculous dinghy slide. So far it hasn't crashed, that's a good thing. I never changed the colors, but I think I like it. Red? We needed red in the park. We didn't have anything else that was red. Except, you know, we had little bits. But nothing big that was red. I never bothered to change the color of this either. I guess I liked it enough that I didn't bother. Yeah, all these colors are good, so I'm gonna leave them the way they are. Let's see what else are we working on. A new shop or stall? That's good. Well, maybe not really good. Let's actually turn that off. We don't need more of those. Well, maybe after we learn whatever it is, we'll switch to something else. We need more food, honestly, and more drinks. I guess cotton candy and ice cream technically count as food, but they probably don't fill the meter up very much compared to fries. And the fries don't very much compared to burgers. What we really need is burgers. Because those have the biggest impact on the uh, hunger meter of our poor starving guests. I think we could do with another bumper cars. Maybe. Wow, we're already out of room. Maybe not. I don't want to do that. Let's not spam additional ones until we unlock more rides. Because we only have like one, two, about room for three more flat rides here, if I'm really careful. And if I want to build any more than that, I have to start building on top of things, and I'd rather not do that. I'd rather keep this park pretty as possible. It's already bad enough the looping roller coaster is going on top of stuff. I mean, it looks okay, because the supports look like they're going down behind other attractions. While we wait on stuff, let's, thought, let's think about the theming. So this is, the, this is a pier reaching out into the middle of the ocean, just off the shore. So I think we could go with... Uh-oh, uh we have a breakdown. Let's see. Honestly, we could really go with anything. Let's just do canvas. You can't really go wrong with canvas. Well, maybe you can. It looks okay with a merry-go-round. Maybe abstract. Fancy glass. Or no, pagoda. Now nah, I don't want any pagoda. There are some actually really cool Asian-style parks in the expansions, so I would definitely go with pagoda. But not in this one. Maybe... There's no neutral entrances aside from the plane and uh, abstract and canvas. I want something that's cool but still neutral. If I go castle, now it's medieval themed. If I go jungle, now it's jungle themed. Well, it's kind of neutral, I guess. If I go space, now it's space themed. Eh. Uh, we could do wooden. Like it's a tropical... Whatever. Yeah, let's do wooden. I actually like that. Let's go wooden. And all of these. This goofy pirate ship could be... We could do wooden, or we could do jungle. Let's just do wooden. I'm overthinking this. Oops. Sorry, Heather. I meant to click on the roller coaster. Here we go. Broken in bed with a captain's daughter early in the morning. When you think about a lot of classic tunes that really become earworms and get stuck in your head, they're very, very simple. The chord progression, the melody, it's very, very simple. But it still sounds good, it's still fun. And that's probably why they are so iconic. It's because anyone can hum and... Anyone can hum it! Like a lot of classical music, I love classical music, but a lot of it is so needlessly complex, it's almost like the composers are flexing their their mental prowess by making it as complex as possible. And who's gonna sing that? Who's gonna hum that? It doesn't stay with you unless you listen to it numerous times so you really get the melody down in your head, right? So that might be, that's the difference between folk music and classical music, is classical music is really pretty and it really is a beautiful uh, expression of human in ingenuity. Ingenuity? Ingeniousness? I don't know if I use that word right. Ingenuity makes me think of mechanical stuff. Um, but the point is, the, this, the simpler stuff is what stays with you, 
because you remember it more easily. I think all of our entrances are now wooden, so that's good. Now that it's all wood, actually no, maybe I don't like it. I, there's too much wood shacks everywhere. <laughs> we need more variety. Let's make some of these, uh, let's make them log cabins instead. Log cabin. Just to get variation in the color. Yeah, so maybe the longer stations will make log cabins and the shorter stuff will be wooden structures. Well, it's all wood, but log cabin styled wood. This already looks better. That's another thing you need some musical know-how is, well, not just music, but maybe poetry, rapping, I don't know, matching the sil the yeah, the number of syllables to the tune. So you don't cram syllables in the last phrase, like what I just did. Well, this looks really good. Have we unlocked anything? Oh, yay, burgers! I predicted it. Well, I didn't predict it. I just was hoping for it, and we got it. So let's open some burgers right there. Hopefully we're not too close to anything. We're close to the bathroom. Whoops. Oh, well. Forget it. I keep complaining that I don't... I keep saying... Not complaining. I keep saying I don't want to put the uh, food too close to the bathroom. But then if you think of an actual restaurant, the bathroom is inside of the restaurant. So, <laughs> it's not that big a deal. What are we researching now? Yay, a thrill ride! That's what we really need is thrill rides. Uh, yeah, we're going to wait on that. Let's get back to this theming we were doing. I see empty spaces that are in desperate need of flowers. Let's grab these multicolor ones. I can't see what I'm doing. Ta-da, perfect. What do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Do, 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 do. Twist one is broken down, what a shame. I don't know if there is really any of, any other spots we could pl place these flowers. Maybe here. It's not encroaching on the roller coaster at all, is it? Not in the supports. Oh no, that actually works. Look at that. And now we have these goofy supports under it. That's the funny thing with the flowers. And have the car ride go under the flowers. Or no, maybe not. But instead of those goofy... Instead of those goofy supports, what we could do is we could color the supports, make them wood color, by doing this. Ta-da! Now it looks like it's part of the pier. And place additional ones over here, and maybe place some boardwalks. Not boardwalks, uh, let's see, I don't, oh no, I don't have the wooden blocks. That's a shame. This one looks like corrugated metal. This one looks like concrete. So let's do the concrete ones. And what was I thinking? I didn't color them first. Let's make it actually look like concrete. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. That is one thing I feel like I should change, is the supports of this roller coaster look like they're made of wood. Uh, let's change that. Make them blue. Oh! That's cool! But then blue and yellow always look good together. So, you know, it's that default color scheme I always go back to. Maybe these would look better if it was darker, though. Let's try... Eh, let's leave it the light one. That's fine. And I forgot to place... I forgot to place one here! Let's bring this back. Return it to the brown color we had. There we go. Grab the concrete block. Oh, that's the generic color. Where's the colored one? Here we go. Make this gray. There we go. Now these are all e uh, even with each other. And I think we had fountains. Let's put a fountain... Never mind. Oh, what am I doing? Can I put a fountain here? Oh, look at that! And that's the only place we can put one. That's a shame. <laughs> oh, well. What's our progress in unlocking new stuff? Ooh, a 3D cinema! That is objectively one of the worst rides in the game, but it's cool looking! We need cool rides. We have the good rides, now we just need the cool ones to flesh this park out. Look at that! 1,200 guests? Well, one shy of. 1,200 guests. We're in June. So if we get 400 more, we will have doubled the objective. 
and I have a feeling we're gonna, we're gonna have to spam flat rides to pull that off, now that I think about it, and we don't have room for it. So maybe we won't be able to double the objective, but that's fine, we don't have a lot of space, and I'd rather maintain this very photogenic park than start building on top of it to double the objective. That's my, that's what, uh, that's my opinion, so. 19th of June, so three days to unlock the new thrill ride. I don't want to wait, but I don't want to fast forward either. Can we really not build over here? That's such a shame. Let's try it. Flowers? No, we can't. What a shame. We could put flowers over here, though. Flowers never hurt. And we can't place them there. What a shame. Now, where are these supports? There we go. Set this to wooden. Same with these. That looks a little bit better. And now let's get something on the edges of these flowers because the dirt is exposed. Maybe some little fences. Like that. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Look at that. A work of art. Okay. I'm going to stop patting myself on the back. It's June 21st, so it looks like we unlocked it. Aho! There it is! Woohoo! We get the 3D cinema! Let's turn it this way so the entrance is facing where we're going to place. The entrance. The entrance. This entrance. Facing this entrance. That's why I double spoke that. Uh, anyway. Mouse tails. No! Space Raiders. Now this ride takes a long time, so the throughput is terrible. So I'm going to leave the queue line short, and that leaves space for more flowers! Yes, indeed. So let's build those flowers. Where are they? Aha. Let's get a different color. Let's go pink. Solid pink this time. Oh no, let's go with these ones. These ones are more vibrant. Oops. There we go. Beautiful! Isn't that a thing of beauty? Okay. It kind of blends, actually. It's not bright enough. Oh, well. So I think we could fit two more, uh, two more flat rides here if they're small enough. If they're not small enough, I may just have to spam some more of these or something. I wonder. You know, we could actually spam some of these over here, I think. Let me see. Can we build this? Two tiles. Oh, uh, ho, ho, look at that! Not here, but here. Look at that! We are going to crank up our soft gas cap and maximize this. Never mind, I can only fit one. <laughs> That's a shame. What about over here? Entrance exit. No, it doesn't fit. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm going to stop whining. Maybe over here. With a proper queue line and exit. I can't see what I'm doing. Check the exit first. Okay, yeah, we managed to fit one in there. And it blends in with the other, with the, the dinghy slides. Let's change these colors. Let's go blue and white. Or no, how about blue and black? Ah. Oh. That's cool, but it's not what I wanted. But actually, I'm going to leave it. I've never done that before. That's a cool color scheme. What are we working on now? A shop or stall? Stop it! I don't want more, any more shops. Turn that off. Okay, we are running out of time to unlock more flat rides to fill this space in and double the objective. I think we may have to give up on the doubling the objective objective. Objective objective from the Department of Redundancy Department. Let's see... Early in the morning. We could build another Ferris wheel, I suppose. Let's see, connect this up. Perfect. And I've been forgetting to turn the price off of these. So I wonder how that's affecting our ad campaigns. Actually, we could actually potentially get some more guests in the park. The uh, free food, let's go free fries for 12 weeks. Free entry to the park. We are not hurting for cash. Cash is not a problem for us. 
free rides on the bumper cars. Actually, no, free rides on... What am I doing? Free rides on the mini, the, uh, mini roller coaster, because that still has a price tag on it. Speaking of that, are people still riding it? Yeah, people are still riding it. Huh. Yeah, I don't understand this. Maybe it is optimal to charge for the, for the entrance and for rides, but if it is, I don't know how. I know that charging for rides, it's easier to just get everyone's money. They just stay in the park longer. Half-priced entry to the park. 12 weeks. Boom. First wheel. Make that free. What else have I forgotten to make free? Pirate ship. It is costing money. No one's riding it. That's probably why. There we go. Now people are riding it. This should be free. No one is riding it. For that reason. This should be free. And I think that's everything that I missed. Perfect. Oh, I forgot. Let's make this. Five. Five. And I may have forgotten to do that in these ones, too. My goodness, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. I have seven spiral slides. Make sure we get five people on that one. Five people on this one. And I think I didn't forget for these. Let me check. Oh, I did forget. So I think the only one I remembered was the first one. Oh, no, not even the first one. I forgot on all of them. What the heck? <laughs> oh, brother. Well, it's fixed now, so no problem. No problemo. We don't have room anywhere else for additional rides, do we? <gasps> Wait, no, I can put flat rides over here. What are we researching? Souvenir stall. Oh, that's right, because I forgot to turn shops and stalls off. So we'll get that. Uh, but to uh, increase our guest cap, another way to do that is with shops and stalls. So let's have another drink stall. I don't have room right there. Put one there. Same price as the other one we have. We have burgers, fries, ice cream, and uh, cotton candy. So I don't think we need more of those. I think we're... Yeah, that's it for those. Um, what else can we cram into here? These are easy, because they're so small. Before I forget, turn this off. Okay, we have access to the souvenir stall now. Oops, come back. Okay, now we have a space to potentially build another tiny flat ride over here. Although I have a feeling we would have been better off with a bigger flat ride. Well, no, I could build an additional one of these. Two of these is probably better than... Oh, wait, no. No, I have room for a bigger one. Well, no, maybe not. Two of these is probably better than one small flat ride, so this is okay. Perfect. Let's open this one as well, turn the price off, and turn up the minimum number of guests allowed on the ride. Man, look at our park. What a beautiful park. Built over the ocean, where the salt and the moisture makes everything wear down faster. It's a beautiful thing. We have a lot of money, too. Let's look at our income. See what all these free vouchers have done to our income. No, it's still... Oh, my goodness. What an up, this upper trend is, like, off the charts now. Cash, less loan, which means minus loan in, in accounting terms. I'm not sure why they use less instead of minus. Maybe it's because minus is meant for something else. Yep, right there, $27.50. That was a half-price voucher. That guy just waltzed in, so he has a freebie. What are you holding? Free entry. Hey, look, this army of people coming to the park. Woohoo! Let's go! Let's go! Let's see where they all generate from. Okay, they're coming from out here. You know, this looks awfully, off, uh, awfully similar to the Bumbly Beach scenario. I wonder if this, they use the same model as the same... Uh, the same base uh, uh, canvas. I don't know what you call this scenario. I don't know. It looks like almost looks like they recycled some of the same assets from that. But uh, not, there's nothing wrong with that. That's kind of cool, honestly. This is still full capacity, despite being despite costing two dollars. That is really good, and we're turning out a profit with it. I wonder if we could get away with charging for some of these other ones. 
$2 for this one. Especially to account for all the people coming to the park for free. Are these people all going to turn away? Let's watch. Oh, it broke down. Never mind. I'm watching it for nothing. <laughs> what about this one? How are these guys doing, by the way? Oh, I only have one. Why do I only have one? What the heck? Yeah, we need more of those guys. Let's make the wild mouse two dollars as well, and see if the, that will if people will still pay for it. Yeah, they're paying. They're paying for it. Look at that. So we can optimize a park by doing this. But all the freeloaders who uh, didn't uh, who spent uh, not freeloaders, everyone who spent all of their money to come into the park will just get stuck riding everything else, I guess. We should probably make sure we have a roller coaster that's free just for them, though. This one... Okay, this one's stats are good enough. I think we're all right. Let's see. Is anyone turning away when they try to walk in? So far, no. And look at that! 1,500 guests! I take it back. It looks like we're going to double our objective. Let's go! If this is a launched free fall, I'm going to celebrate. That's going to be so great. Let's see. 17th of August. I'm not patient enough to see... To wait, let's see what it is. Top spin. Oh, that's that's good enough, I suppose. <laughs> I forgot to build the souvenir stall, so let's place this down somewhere. We have room for it, which is clearly not right there. There we go, right in the corner. Come get your cuddly toys, my friends. Make these three dollars. Ad campaign. Oh, it looks like all of our campaigns finished. Let's see, August, September, October. Three months, so I think we can charge 12 weeks for each of these again. This time we'll advertise the classic mini roller coaster. I don't know if we ever advertised that one. What are people's slots on the cuddly toys? Really good value. Okay, it looks like I'm undercharging for this. When I was a kid, I used to think that was a good thing. Like, oh, that means I'm doing really good. Like, no, it just means that you're not charging as much as you could charge, and you're losing money you could have earned. So, charge a little bit more, and it's still selling for $3.50, so that seems to have been a good move. Now we're making money on our umbrellas. And what's cool about this is since most of our rides are free, the uh, rainstorm doesn't really take a dip out of our revenue. Because normally, if you're charging per ride, Everyone stops riding the rides while it rains, so you lose money on it. But since most people spent their money at the gate and they're just f riding for free now, well, with the exception of these roller coasters since I added the price tag to them, uh, it doesn't really affect our revenue. So that's a perk to charging at the gate. I still prefer charging per ride, especially if, well, I don't know, I'm experimenting right now to see how this affects us. Oh, look at that, 1600. There we go, we doubled it. When do we get the top spin? And on the 17th, so tomorrow, essentially, in a few minutes, because minute the days are minutes in this game. The rainstorm is d uh, dissipating. That's nice to see. It is the 17th, so we should have it. Let's watch it. There, it. there it is. Perfect. We might be able to fit two out here. If I face this one this way... No, I really shouldn't. What I should do is put a spiral slide over here. More spiral slides over there, because you can cram those. Well, no, I, we, we we did it. We we, dub, we doubled our objective, so I don't need to be so uh, crazy. Never mind. <laughs> put that there. And save this space for the queue line. You know what? I could put a spiral slide right there. <laughs> Let's go berserk mode. We'll call this the vomit machine, because that's what it is. That's all it really is, is just a vomit machine. I mean, look at these stats. It's ridiculous. Let's see. Spiral slide. Tiny two-tile ride. Boom. Now, every little tiny space in this park is filled. Well, not really. We could, this spot is in desperate need of flowers. That can be quickly remedied. Delightfully deluxe. Delicious, delicious, I'm making up words. Delightful little flowers. Can I change the color of these supports from this menu? I cannot. Okay. So if I want to change the color of the supports, I have to do it myself. So the inner ones are still black, but 
from out here it looks better. Let's do these ones too. And break these ones. Why are they rotated like that? There we go. These ones did it too. Gosh dang it. Delete all these. Okay, it looks like we have no choice for this edge one. Oh wait, no. The default one does it too. Okay. Never mind. Beautiful. Let's do it here too. All these little fine-tuning tricks to make everything look pretty. Because I like the I like the wooden color better than the other color. Okay. It is August 28th. We have 1,677 guests. So we are rocking this scenario. We have stomped it to the ground. We have doubled the objective. We have tons of cash. And we're not even on the second to last month. We still have two more months to go. Oops. Break that. Heh. <laughs> that doesn't go up there. Yes, I'm really proud of how this turned out. Look at it. What a beautiful little pier. And we crammed so much into this tiny little space. We have one, two, three, four, four and a half. We have four roller coasters, plus the dinghy slide, plus the log flume, plus this goofy ride, and all these flat rides. And the flowers, no less. I even went to the trouble of planting flowers everywhere. <laughs> this is a nice park. I'm going to stop patting myself on the back and start decorating more. What are we researching now? Another thrill ride, huh? So if we do get another thrill ride, if it is a... If it is, in fact, a launched free-for-all, or even better, a roto drop, that would be super cool. So we get it on the 15th of September. How are the ad campaigns doing, by the way? Are they still running? Yeah, they're still running. Let's see. Swinging Invertership. Oh, okay. That's kind of small, so that's, that's decent. I don't know if we have room for it anywhere. <laughs> we took up the entire park already. There is no room for anything else. Oh, here's an idea. On these concrete blocks, I could do, like, tiered flower beds. I wonder. Haha, <laughs> look at that! Isn't that great? Well, no, it's, uh... I don't want to mess the supports up, so let's do these instead. But that doesn't make sense. It's like it's... Oops. It's like it's planted on concrete, so never mind. It was a cool idea, but I've changed my mind. With these ones, we can at least pretend that there's dirt under them. Let's put the fountain back. Okay. We could have some seaweed or some plants over here, though. So let's uh, spam some weeds into the water around this log flume. Keep some over here as well. And these don't really get in the way of the supports, unless they're wooden supports, of course. Isn't that a neat little thing? Let's put some over here as well. Just adds flavor to the park. It's a shame I can't place uh, things in the water. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, no, no, no. People, no. No, they're drowning. How do I save them? I can't. Uh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> no. Dang it. No, no, no. Look what I did to my park rating. It's just dropping. <laughs> See, that's all I care about at the park rating. I'm just kidding. I care about my imaginary people, too. Uh, but anyway, park rating is going to go back, go right back up. If anything, that cleared up the uh, soft guest cap, so more guests will generate and give us more money. Ho-ho! <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm a psychopath. Let's plant some more of these and not right-click anything anymore so we don't accidentally kill people. I was trying to right-click... I was trying to uh, right-click the uh, plant, but I accidentally broke the path. Speaking of which, did I ever sort this out? Yeah, I was trying to right-click this. Make sure the... There we go. On the pixel. I'm gosh dang it. But I missed and clicked the path. There's the swinging inverter ship. Let's place more of these out here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, not again. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to kill anybody. We have 1,800 guests. My goodness. 
If we get to 2400 by the end of this, that's the light. Let's see. The goal was. Oh, I got confused. I was thinking 800. I was saying we needed to get to 1600 because I, I had the, the figure 1800 in my head. We tripled the objective, guys. Oh my goodness. We stomped this place so hard. Woohoohoo! We have tripled the objective for the pier. For Big Pier. What is this? Yeah, Big Pier. My goodness. We have done fabulous. I have never done that. This is the first time I think that we have tripled the objective in one of our scenarios. My oh my, we did it, folks. Marvelous. I still want to place more of these fountains, though, but there's no room anywhere. Oh, here we go. We can place one there. Place some there. One by the balloons. Where else? Yeah, I feel like I've used every tile. There's only a handful of unused tiles. Which I guess that just means we did well. We still have a month, though. I don't know what to do with this time. We could try to fit this somewhere. Um, but I don't know how we're going to do it without making the park ugly. Can I build it over... Yeah, all these rides take up all the space. Heh, I could build it there. Just hovering over everything. Too high for supports. Yeah, so I can't build it anywhere else. That's, a, that's all I can do. I could technically build it down here, but I don't know how I would connect the paths up to it. That would just never work. Anyway, let's not even bother. Or what we could do is break some of these uh, goofy spiral slides. Just so we have more variety in this park. That's eh, not worth it. These look prettier anyway. More colorful. I wonder if we can break six figures by the end of the scenario. And we're lagging for some reason. Gosh dang it. I see no ducks. That's probably because this is salt water. I wish there were seagulls to replace them though. I would click the seagulls anyway, but... There's no ducks, that's a shame. Um, let's see, 1900. I swear, if we get to 14, if we get to 2400 and quadruple the objective, that'll be absolutely insane. I don't think we will. I don't think we'll quite get there, but that would be so freaking cool. This guy's going home. Is he happy? Yay, he's happy, and he only rode two things. Between one and seven. Okay, so he's picky, that's why he only rode two things. But at least he's happy. It looks like he rode the same two things many times. And people are still paying for the roller coasters, which is good. Our income is about sixteen to 18000 per month for the past few months. I'm not sure why June was so bad for income. Same with April. What in the world? It's like we're bouncing back and forth. Yeah, anyway, we're, we're doing good. We need 50 more guests to get to 2000 and then 400 more to quadruple the scenario. We have started up. Yeah, we're not going to quadruple it. We're already in October. We're on the last stretch, the last sprint towards the finish, and I think we need more, more cattails over here because they're not visible from this point of view. Can't go wrong with additional cattails. Da 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 place them around this car ride as well. Marketing campaign for free fries is finished. You know, it just occurred to me that this music is unintrusive, but still fun. To the point that I've never, I forgot about it and I never bothered to go change it. Let's go. Free entry to the park for four weeks, because that's all the time we have left. Or three weeks, I guess. Free rides on the looper, because it does cost money. For three weeks and vouchers for free food let's select the burgers the best food option make that free bring everybody into the park come on people you're gonna love it it's gonna be great here they come in droves I wish I could walk faster I want to see if we can break 2,000 
I mean, I'm already satisfied that we tripled the objective, but I want to see if we can get to 2,000, because that would be so sweet. I want to preview what the thumbnail will look like. Let me, here's a fun little YouTuber insider info thing. As I always go to this, uh, what I usually do is I go to this uh, Zoom. This is actually how I recorded the first few videos of this series, as I was doing it at 1.25. And that's just how I play it. Now, it, now it's annoying, it's like too far away. Uh, but I go to this setting, so I can get more into the shot. If I zoom out too much, then you can't make out the details, especially on a thumbnail on a mobile device. But because this park is so small, I might do it at this zoom at 1.5. <gasps> the launch free fall? What? What? I want it. I want it. But I don't know if I can build it. No, I don't have room anywhere. No. I really want it. How could I possibly fit it into the... Oh, oh, gotta restart that. Yay! We have six figures! Woohoo! Six figures! We have $100,000 in this part. Not too shabby. Is there a place I can connect this up? Not there. Maybe here. Over the bathroom. If I build a launched free fall on top of the uh, top of the go-karts, that's going to be hilarious. I need something quick, so we're just going to do a skate patch. No, it's too tall. No, what a shame. Oh, well, never mind. But then if I did a skate patch, I couldn't claim that I custom built everything, so I'm just going to leave it. Forget it. Forget it. We did good. We don't need it. No entry. Everyone get out of here. So I can safely delete these without, oh, without people... Landing. Okay, he's just going to land on the path beneath him. Whee! There we go. Safely landed on the path below. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. I really wanted to put one there. Oh, there's another idea. Maybe we could place it down here. Maybe. Possibly. Oops, I missed one. Oh, we could place it here. I want to try it. Okay, we're at five feet. Let's go to... I'm not sure what the sweet spot is. We have seven days. I don't know if we can pull this off. I really want this. How are we going to pull this off? Okay, test. No, not like that. Let's try 65, 67. It's not going to fly off. Yep, we need one more. Now test. Woohoo! Right up to the top, just perfect. We have five days left. And I don't think we're gonna make it. Oops. Three days. This is going to look really funny if I have this half-finished thing here. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. We'll just delete this. Break it. And get rid of these. Now we have to replant all of our cattails. Gosh dang it. Where's my cattails? Bring them back and plant them. Oh, lost in my fountains. I think I had a fountain down here that I deleted. There we go. We are on October 30th. We have one more day. October 31st. It is Halloween. Happy Halloween. Why does it have to rain at the end? Now I'm going to have to wait for the rain to stop to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, and I totally forgot to turn the balloon price off. Oh, well, there's tons of balloons. Woohoo! There we go! Ho, ho, ho! And with that, cap lock is on. With that... The challenging parks of the series are concluded, and we can begin on the expert parks. Man, oh man. And yay, the sun's coming out. Woohoo! Look at what we did. Look at all those balloons. Look how tightly packed they are. Uh, as always, this was tremendous fun. We, we, you see, we tripled the objective. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today, and if you enjoy seeing balloons like this, uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe. If you subscribe, you help me reach my objective, my personal objective, not the park objective, of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. You see that? Sub sub uh, subscribers instead of guests. If you want to help me reach my real life objective by 1,000 subscribers by the end of year one, I guess, or year two, the channel's been around for two years, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.